Got right here escape ladder for fire safety on the second floor. If you get trapped, you're supposed to keep it under your bed or if you don't have space under the bed, somewhere close by, maybe in a closet, then you can just grab it and throw it down. So there you go. How does this come off? Okay, there's a little Velcro, that's it. And then it's supposed to, there's easy instruction in case you forget, but you wanna familiarize yourself and maybe practice one or two times. So let's go try it out. For example, there is a window. Let's open it all the way. Take this all the way out. It's pretty skinny window, but it is a second floor. So I guess we unhook it and put it over like that. You see, if I try to jump off of here, I might hurt myself, especially with kids. Uh, so then you just pull this up. Nice. And it touches all the way to the bottom. That's cool. Then we know what to do. Instead of me climbing from here and testing it, I think I'm gonna go around and test it out from the bottom. See if it's gonna hold me. Check this out. Goes all the way to the top. Very nice. Looks like it will work a little bit longer even too. So nice, second floor easy. Now let's test it, how good it is. It is definitely going to swing around quite a lot. Whoa, moved around a little bit. But as you can see, it holding me really good. Uh, because it's a uh, rope ladder, it will swing around. So be very careful climbing down with the kids and everything. Okay, let's try it one more time. Maybe hug it like that, so that way it doesn't swing on you. But yeah, it's really strong. I'm 230 pounds. It holds it in me pretty good. It did readjust a little bit, moved a little bit, but as you can see, it works. So, thumbs up for me. Worth having it, that's for sure, never know. I would rather be prepared. Getting ready for summertime, or maybe I'll go to Florida, bring this with me, because it gets really hot, especially in Disney parks and stuff like that. Get it here, neck fan. So what's so special about this one? This is where it's going to suck in the air and blow out all the way around here into your neck. And this right here, rubber, is very comfortable, look at that. It just twists and stands there. So high quality, not super flimsy, that's for sure. Looks like it comes with a rechargeable cord. Okay, press one time, that's it. I'll press it one more time. More powerful. And more powerful. Okay, three options. One, two, three. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. Looks like headphone side, but no, this is a actually a neck fan and it's nice where's the on and off button right here oh yeah it's blowing quite a bit of air this is perfect feeling it on my beard so that way also could be useful whenever you get out of the shower and you want to dry off your really long lushy beard that could be a beard fan also to dry out your beard you know it takes a long time like i don't have to worry about over here but here Especially if I go it out one day, I probably would use it as like a hair dryer for your beard. So you just set it up and chill, don't have to worry about it. But no, I'm joking. But really, it is awesome. It is really cool in me. It blows a lot of, a lot of uh, air. So you see, you can kind of turn it a little bit this way. You can turn it a little bit out. So that way it's not instantly into your face. Or I kind of like it like that into my neck right here. It's beautiful, a bit loud, so maybe do it on the first uh, setting. That's why it has three settings, so in case it's too loud, you can do it a little bit less. But this thing is awesome. There's so many fans, and they usually blowing from here, and you gotta put it on your face. This thing is a design to where it blows from these holes into your neck and everything and face, instead of out here into your face, so it's like way cooler. Love this neck um, fan, beautiful. Got it here, another spoke design by Adore Edge. Like that burned pretty good. So how does this work? Looks like there is a folding thing over here. Wow, nice, you can make it really, really small. How beautiful is that? But now, how do we take it apart? 
You know what? I guess you're not supposed to take it apart. First of all, you got it here a little like a butter knife. Probably could cut some soft meat. Then uh, can opener, not too sharp, but you can punch through it pretty easily. Bottle opener and a fork. So everything you need, except uh, the difference about this fork or spork, it's foldable. So that way it doesn't take as much space. So just a little upgrade from these sporks. As you can see, it has all the same functions as this one, except this one longer, but whenever you fold it, it actually takes up less space. So that's why it's better, even though it has all the other options with that. Actually also this one has a screwdriver too. So I would say this is definitely way cooler. As you can see, we started with that one, then I found this one, and now I got this one that is way smaller whenever we're not using it to turn the backpack. Very important, you can put it in a very small pocket now. Got it here, light band, pretty interesting uh, headlamp design. It looks like a dog collar. You know, those headlamps usually are pretty cool. This is straight up light band, not a headlamp. So it comes with batteries, which is nice. You're still gonna have a big, uh, bulky battery holder. Could have been a lamp, three light bulbs over here, and boom, that's it. I guess this is just different design. And guess what, we could have avoided the wires that way too. Okay, where is on and off? Right here. Wow, that's bright though. Look at so many LEDs. That's crazy. It could be actually really awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put it on with the head on and then without. Oh yeah. What do I look like? Okay, let's do without the head. This probably will be funnier. Especially with my bolt head. So this thing is a little bit in the way. Look at this big bulky thing. But I guess you get way more LEDs. Okay, let's go in the dark, see what it looks like. Wow, you cannot see my face at all. <laughs> it's funny, overexposing because it's so powerful. And everything is really bright. Darkness, brightness. It's so cool. I'll tell you what, as you can see, it illuminates everything just like a big lantern. So you don't have to worry adjusting little uh, light bulb over here up and down. It just illuminates everything. It's pretty crazy. Look at that. So all I have to do is walk around. You see, I don't have to point the head up and down. It just everything is just illuminated. So that's actually pretty awesome. And I don't really feel that bolt anymore. So look at me. I can walk up and not worry about... Uh, oops. So look at me, I can walk up and not worry about where I'm pointing my head because everything is illuminated like a lantern, even behind me. It's crazy. Even in the room it is almost overexposing, so crazy. You know it's funny? There's actually a few moods. And look at that, in case I'm walking around picking up trash by the highway or something, people can see me. That's so funny. and flushing like that. How about BR holster? Classic. So, let's look at it, that's so funny. Uh, first impressions, high quality, leather seems to be, wow. Okay, let's put it on the belt. Okay, the best part about it, I could walk on my yard and stick my drink in here. So like soda, water, maybe even cans. But, will it fit the Russian one? There's a Russian bottle. Oh yeah, it fits so good, check this out. There you go, definitely approved. You can walk around, do your thing, just pull this out, nice. Will it stay at pride when I'm sitting down? Yeah, it is. So that's kind of nice. Even if I'm lifting my hands, you see, it's for the most part, it's staying upright. Maybe if it's full, it would be spilling out. So maybe make sure it's not all the way full, but it will stay upright. If you need to sit up, lift something, uh, hydrate yourself, then put it back in. Beautiful, love it. Even jog, jump, it sits in there super well. That is just funny. Got it here, pretty unique water gun. How cool is that? So, summer will be here in no time to where we'll be able to use it 
So you fill it right here and let's see how well it's going to shoot out of here. Pretty easy, simple I feel. Okay, and let's see. Wow, it shoots quite far. And if it's quite close, pretty powerful. I can't believe it. You see? So this is what it looks like if I'm trying to spray you. So awesome. And at the same time, it's lightweight, like a little pistol. You can run around with almost two of them. Once you run out, you could pull the other one out, maybe hang it on a carabiner or something. So that way, whenever you run out, you have two of them. Beautiful, this is so powerful. Okay, I'm gonna stand way over here. Oh, no way, and I almost can hit the camera. Check this out. And if all I have to do is just burst it a little bit higher and it will be like rain. So this is cool. So I was way over there and as you can see on the top, all of the droplets comes up way over here. From the beginning almost to the end to the pool. Beautiful. It's just so comfortable to carry it around, hold it, move it around, run with it. You know, one hand, two hands, beautiful. Aim. So rapid fire. This is so cool. Can you guys see? You can almost not just push this way, you can almost push both both hands. This hand got tired, just hold it, push it with this hand. And it's quite a lot of water to keep going. Okay, two refill time. Love it. I wish I had that when I was a kid so fun looks like one of those futuristic weapons but this is just a really well designed water gun love it got it here miniature vacuum as you can see i made a little bit of mess on purpose look at that there's a little brush too so let's see if it's going to actually vacuum it all up and see how it works okay there's on and off button uh how do we open it okay we need two double a batteries Okay, put the batteries in, put the cover back on, very easy, love that. Sounds pretty powerful. Wow, no way, all these crumbs are going away, look at that. That is so awesome. Okay, once we're done, how do we extract them? Oh, right here, push. Oh, look at that, all that stuff got cut into here. So you just go outside and shake it out. That is beautiful. Doesn't need any kind of filter or a bag or nothing. Let's do even more crumbs. I got a here a little fire starter. It's just a bunch of shavings in the way. Okay, let's plug it back in. Nice. Turn it on. Look at that. It's cleaning it all out and it's not even pushing it. As you can see, it's sucking it in so it's not pushing it away that is so cool so perfect to clean up your keyboard your table boom You've got food crumbs all over dust nice maybe not so much dust because it's not a dust proof it's mostly to pick up these big pieces like that and look how much Beautiful. Honestly, bought it as a joke to test it out and works really well. <coughs> I love spider core knives. Check this out. This thing is miniature, is only $15. Wow, this thing is so cute. I don't know what you would you use it for. This thing is very unique. So it is not easy flipper, as you can see, you really have to unfold it, but the quality is all there. Check this out. There's a logo of this little spider and there is something in different language says over here and pretty sure something in different language in here so i wish it was a very fun flipper but i guess you could even flip it anyway so it has to be kind of like tight lock so a really cute little knife i would probably hold it like that like a box cutter I guess I could put it on the keychain, just remember to take it off if you're going to the airport. Obviously, none of this little stuff is allowed. 
but yeah super cute anyways people collect knives miniature knives and stuff like that really nice to put into my spiderco nice knife collections boom look how cute it is love it got it here another pretty unique lighter let's see what this one is all about so looks like there's a, a striker over here and it looks really mean and square i love that design so rustic uh, so you unspin it right here it's a little screw to refill it it is oil lighter no way usually you would refill it right here how are you supposed to refill this lighter uh, oh, okay you just pull it up so this side here is a striker and you pull it up to refill it that's a definitely different design okay let's refill it looks like there is a rubber in around it here so that way it shouldn't vibrate got it and again it lights up instantly plenty of ventilation and and this side here what will plug it from vibration but these lighters usually have pretty good vibration but nevertheless beautiful very unique lighter over here looks like carabiner but this is actually how you uh, spark it so like automatic lighter beautiful wow easy to refill and stuff Wasmin Pro cell phone fan so in case you're gaming too much on your phone you can cool it off while you do so so that way your phone does not overheat so there's on and there's light to make your phone look really cool make your phone look super gaming and boom so that way whenever you're playing on your phone it's going to cool it off I don't know if it's actually going to do anything, but yeah, pretty unique gadget for sure. And it's funny how there is even an option to make your phone look even cooler by turning on this unique light. Okay, let's turn it on. Turn on the fan right away, and this is, looks really filled up. In this kind of light with a light bulb, your phone looks really epic with a little turbine of some sort. But yeah, that way your phone won't overheat whenever you play really, really heavy games. Really unique cell phone gadget over here, that's for sure. Would you use a gadget like that or your phone doesn't really overheat? Let me know in the comments below if it's useful or not. Got it here, pocket microscopes. Let's see what they're all about. So 20 times uh, zoom in. And this one 100 to 250 times zoom in. So. 100 times more it goes into your cell phone that's kind of cool so i hooked it up to my phone camera and we're going to look at this darkened print over here so again gotta adjust it a little bit and let's see what we'll see in here you see this is kind of like a darkened print uh, it has this little dots in here and you can obviously see all these unique things it's the best with this kind of microscope to have something that will fit this little uh, closing slit other than that you'll be having hard time focusing it and as you can see there's a fibers of paper i'd say this one is not super impressive it's like really good magnifying glass not really a microscope uh, it's a lot easier to use i would use it for like a looking at coins and stuff like that this is what we're looking at right now versus this one way better 250 times you could really zoom into things and that's what we're zooming into just this really cool print so i'd say this is more like a magnifying glass it's pretty cool probably would use it for coins but this one but this one is kind of really hard to adjust you really have to put it inside here and hold it so stationary because if you try to look at something without this uh, holding it clamped up it's moving around and really really hard to focus so i'd probably play with something that is on the tripod would be a lot easier to look at but still pretty cool gadget side here got it here polo pen let's see what it's all about so there is a card that tells you what you can build with that what really intrigued me is one of these spinners and you have all these magnets over here there is actual pen and i think you can plug it in so you got actual pen over here and 
this gonna go on here boom so you can actually write with this pen it's not that good to write with it's kind of slides around pretty easily so this is a magnetic pen that whole bunch of things you can do with so let's do, get six magnets over here and what we'll do is just uh, set them up next to each other like that so you got six magnets here i'm gonna get three more six so you got six magnets like that then you're going to lay one over or three over like this and lock it in beautiful that's what you're going to end up having then you're going to grab your other pen and put it over like that and you see how it's like kind of bouncing so that way you can spin this whole thing and bounce it so it's going to spin it really really fast whoops make sure you don't push it too hard so it's like pretty much fidget pen if you go too fast it will all fall apart so you can play with magnets like that and just whole bunch of stick figures you can do just very unique product that's for sure